hey everyone welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well as you can see by the title i am going to be showing you how i got this look for my clients and i'll be talking about some new items that we have in stock that would save you a lot of time while you are doing your clients here as you can see i already did some of the braids but first let me talk about the wristband so i have on the magnetic wristband it's time saver guys instead of basically having to dip into your edge control container you can just put a good amount of the edge control on your wristband and just go about your braiding it's going to save you a lot of time a lot of you know energy and a lot of money because then you're going to be able to finish you know sooner than you used to before basically and we do have it in heart shape as well as box so you can get it any shape that you want and also we have it in um different colors we have it in pink red black purple blue green and i also do have them in my description box so for the heart shape we have it in different colors for the box different colors and also very very important is the rat tail comb which is the comb that i use to make a very clean and neat part or at least i try to make it clean and neat parts and as the video goes i'm going to be showing you how i'm able to create my parts and so on just to make sure they're, they're neat and stable we're doing the waist length we're also doing um size small waist length using the ombre hair and i do have the link to the hair the hair that i use for this um tutorial in my description box also for the wristband and everything you see on the shop we offer same day shipping so when you place your order be sure to get your tracking number on the same day as long as your order is placed you know um on or before 4 p.m we try our best to make sure you get your tracking number on the same day this style i believe took me about seven hours i mean it could be less because you know um we had some we had to do some stuff in between while we we're braiding you know she had a break you know like a lunch lunch break and just you know couple of more breaks but um it could have been you know sooner than seven hours but i would say you know give yourself six to eight hours just because you don't want to be you know you just don't want to like rush you want to take your time and stuff like that well for the rest of the video i'm going to be showing you how i insert my curves and um and insert my braids you can insert your curves you know in two ways that which is what i do I sometimes insert my curves while I am inserting my um, braid at the roots and sometimes I insert my curves in the middle of the braid but I'm going to show you how I do those as we go in this in this um, video you're gonna see me to do um, both of them for this style I never really had to dip um, it in hot water just because it's curly and I don't want to mess up my curves and stuff I haven't really tried it but I don't know maybe I will someday but I didn't really have to insert my curves. So now we're going to um, start braiding. So it's not like it's got its braids. So I'm going to start inserting my um, braiding hair first. And then I'm going to insert my curves. So for this one, I'm going to be inserting my curves not towards the middle of my braids, but just something, you know, something similar. So first we're inserting the braids and we're braiding. And then I'm just going to um, keep braiding. And then insert my curves it's sometimes easier for me to insert my curves at the roots but i always when i whenever i do my this particular client's hair we don't really like the curves at the roots just because we just don't so i kind of just um that's why i do insert the curves you know like when i'm you know done braiding a good amount of inches and then i'm going to go ahead and insert my braids in that way it's not too close to the roots and it's just basically um the way she likes it so now i'm inserting my braids and when i insert it i'm going to just keep braiding some more to make sure that the curves um to make sure that the curves is um very very secured and then i'm going to take one part of the curves and wrap it around the comb and then i'm going to keep braiding and then as i keep braiding 
as soon as the um i don't know you can see the curls like ombre right so as soon as like i'm done with like with the black parts of the curls and the black parts of the braiding hair because you want it to be ombre all through basically i'm going to go back again and like take out the other piece of the of the curls and then i am going to just go ahead and braid the braid the way it is I never really had to dip in the hot water. I only used mousse when I was done to secure the ends. So yeah, so now I'm taking the other curls out and then I'm gonna keep braiding. So I did this for all the braids. Sorry, I did not apply curls to all the braids. I probably like skip like every other braid or sometimes every two braids, you know, I just kind of play, I just like play around with it, but I did not really give all the braid, you know, a curl basically. Let's say we have about 100 braids, right? Let's say about 80 or 70 of them had curls in them. So not half and half. It was more curls than, you know, braid by itself. Again, I do have the link to everything you can see. You saw me use in this tutorial. I do have the link to the wristband in my description box, the link to the rat tail comb, the link to the curves as well as link to the braiding here and if you have any questions feel free to ask me and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video thank you
Maestro 